Hey guys, it's Gav here with an important update. This one in particular for my friends out in Washington and in particular for people that are affected by these storms. Last night there were some pretty crazy ice storms. Been uh, quite a winter up there this year. And we had, uh, it, was, it was something like three-eighths of an inch of, of ice on the roads last night. I mean, it was just slippery as can be. And those of you that are in Washington, I'm sure can attest to the crazy things you've seen with the weather in the past few weeks. But what I need to give you today is actually a warning. Uh, I've got a confirmed report, and I've been calling around and looking into this for the past hour or so. I've talked to, I actually called Washington State Patrol. Is that, is that true? Uh, depending on the situation, yeah. Um, okay, are you aware that there's a statute? Are you talking, uh, like... Now, this is an officer at the Washington State Patrol admitting that they're illegally removing vehicles from the roadway in Washington. Now, here's how it works, and I'm going to give you a little bit of information, so if this is happening to you, you know how to deal with it a little bit better. Of course, the courts are super corrupt, and you call the State Patrol, and they just they make excuses. Um, here's, here's a situation. Of, of what happened last night with the case that I've confirmed. So he's driving along the road in a car, ice everywhere. Car goes in the ditch, and so he calls and uh, has somebody come out and get him, and they just leave the car there. Now, during the period of this car being in the ditch, the state patrol is there, right? The car's not in the road. The car's not blocking traffic or anything like that, okay? So... These ice storms have made it so people are going off the road everywhere, of course. Instead of just helping people, wait till you hear what's happening. Now, the officer last night says it's no problem. You got 24 hours to get it off the road, which is what we're going to learn looking at the law here in just a moment. I'm going to give you guys the statute so that you know. Now, they go to get the car this morning. So they have till tonight, even without notifying any officer, because there's specific rules before they can remove a car from the side of the road, unless it's in traffic, like blocking the road or something like that, right? If it's safely off the road, then there's specific restrictions for the police and the tow companies. So here's what's happening. They go to get the car today, and the car's gone. They call... And, oh, the, the, the tow company took it. So they call the tow company, and this one in particular, I don't know how many around Afreda, Moses Lake, Wenatchee area are doing this, but let's let's name names. Uh, Randy's, Randy's Towing is one of them. There's their phone number. Um, and I called them, and I said, are, are you taking cars from the side of the road? Now, not only were they admitting to it, they were, they were uh, flipping about it. I said, so it's okay? They said, well, the state patrol told us to. I said, so it's okay for you to steal cars if the state patrol tells you to. And they said, yes. Now, this is the company that's taking people's cars from the side of the road. Now, we recognize that there is a time where if a car was abandoned, it might have to be towed. But let's look at the actual laws, because that's the crux of this matter. They're all in total violation of the law. The tow company, the state patrol by extension or the state patrol and the tow company by extension let's look at the law so you have this information now this is in washington in your state you might have have uh, different laws and you'll have to look up your state statutes but in washington with what's going on right now with these storms here's what we're dealing with okay so 46.55.080 okay now 46.55 is full of stuff about towing impounds all that kind of stuff all right but in particular the first thing they have to have before they tow Okay, law enforcement or a public official requesting a public impound, which means on public property, this is in the definitions, shall provide a signed authorization for the impound at the time and place of impound to the registered tow truck operator. Okay, so the first thing, we're not positive on this because we haven't seen the documentation, but from what's being told, it sounds like guy from the state patrol just calls the tow truck operator, says, hey, here's a car for you to go get, and guess what? They go get it, and now they want $200, $250 to get your car back, right? So they've taken your car, and it looks like what's happening in central Washington right now is they may be taking cars without a signed authorization, which is, of course, a direct violation of the tow operator. But it, it goes beyond that, because even to have the car removed is illegal, and that is this next statute, which is going to be... 46.55.085, okay? Now, in Washington, under this statute, the law enforcement, there's specific rules. So if you go in the ditch in the snow, right, and you get a ride home with somebody who has a better vehicle for the snow, the idea being to come back the next day, very logical, so you don't kill yourself on the road. Your vehicle is off the road. It's safe. What is the law enforcement required to do under the law? Okay? They're supposed to put a, a sticker 
with a date, officer identity, and a statement that you have 24 hours from the time the sticker is attached or the vehicle may be taken into custody and stored. Okay, 24 hours. Now here's the thing, not only did an officer tell them it was fine they had 24 hours, even if he had not, it is illegal under Washington state statutes for the state patrol to order a vehicle that is off the road like this to be impounded because that's the law. Now, once again, just like we saw with the unmarked cars, we see officers that flagrantly just violate the law. Now, sure, we got storms. We got all this stuff going on, right? The roads are pretty crazy in Washington. We want to have a balance of safety and order and vigilance. But instead of actually keeping us safe on the roads and helping people, they're having a, a tow company who can benefit by these extortion programs and violation of the law and let me know if you're in Washington and other tow companies are involved in this and engaged in these activities. Let's name their names. All right, guys. Let's stop pretending that people who break the law, but they're doing it with the good old boys and by permission of the chief lawbreakers in our government, that therefore they're okay. All right. The roads were really bad last night, and we've seen a lot of cars and ditches and stuff. Now, I'm not in Washington right now, but my family and people back at home, a lot of this stuff. Now, here's the thing, though. And we say, yeah, file charges for stealing the car, etc. I mean, they, under violating the statutes, Randy's Towing could probably lose their towing permits in Washington State. The problem is they're in on it. The state patrol is, is like, well, this is just what we do. We just, I just had a recording of him admitting that they've been removing cars from last night's storm. There's no car from last night's storm, guys, that they can legally be removing if it's off, off the side of the road right now. Because they haven't put the stickers on. They haven't notified. They're supposed to try and call you. And most importantly, they have to give at least 24 hours before the car is removed. Now you got these tow companies out there for their profit taking these cars off the road. Oh, two, three hundred dollars to get your car back. And, and these are things you could check. Did they get a signed authorization from a police officer? Because I'm pretty certain, from what I heard in talking to the tow company before they hung up on me, so, uh, what I heard was they, they called and told us there was a car there to go get it. That's illegal. There has to be a signed authorization from the officer, or if it's on private property, there needs to be an authorization from the private property owner. Okay? Now... They, they called the sheriff on this particular one, and I don't know how many of these are going on. If you're in central Washington and your car's been stolen from this, the, these recent storms, shout out. Let's, let's share the information. But this is happening today, and called the sheriff, called the sheriff in Grant County, Tom Jones, and they basically just said, well, you know, you could, you could try and like go to court or something, but really you just need to pay it. And then you can take it to traffic court and make your case and try and, and get the state patrol or something to pay you back for it, right? So they're out there stealing cars in open violation of the law, but it's our responsibility to take our time in court, to pay our money to these corrupt tow operators. And so we got a good old boys club here. We got a good old boys, and as long as you play along, right, the good old boy tow operator, well, he's just following the law. No, actually he's not. He's following what will make him money, and his buddies in law enforcement are okay with that, and so he gets away with it because guess what? Our sheriffs aren't upholding the law. Our police and state patrol and local municipalities aren't upholding the law. So we have all these statutes, right? A lot of the statutes in every state are written for government. That's the thing. You hear about the laws that restrict you and me, and most of them are illegal. The ones that restrict our government, we have an authority and a right to restrain our government. Most of the laws, guys, are actually written to restrict government. And you can look these up. And it took me a little bit of research to nail down the laws. And in Washington State, the State Patrol and the tow companies are violating the law. So if you need the info, review 46.55, but in particular for this sort of a situation, not an arrest situation, just a broken down vehicle or in the ditch, that kind of thing, off the road, okay, 46.55.085, and then also 46.55.OAO addresses them having to require an author, a signed authorization in most every case, in fact, I think in every case. And also 46.55.090 deals with personal property in the vehicle and things like that. There's a whole bunch of laws in Washington, and, and you can bet any state has rules and statutes regarding tow operators and impounds and stuff like that. I wanted to shout out to you guys in Washington. If you're in Washington, get this out. They're stealing cars from the recent storms, and that's what this is. Let's not pretend. 
And so the difference is, the difference is, if the tow company in collusion with the Washington State Patrol steals your cars, you can't call the police and have them do anything because your sheriff will say, oh, well, I guess you just got to pay it, right? If an actual, a regular thief, right? If a regular thief steals your cars, guys, the police will at least put out a little bit of effort to get it back. They'll at least look for it and let you know if they find it, right? So in some ways, in some ways, it's better to have your car stolen by, by the drugged out uh, dealer down the road than it is by your protectors and tow companies because at least then, at least then, you can call the sheriff and he might do something about it. This is the state in Washington. These are the laws you need to know. This is what's happening right now. Hope this is helpful to you guys. Stand up. Be bold. Call these people out. Tow companies, sheriff, state patrols. Pick up the phone. Be, spread the word. Tell people. Stop just being okay with this corruption. All right, you guys have a good day. You gotta get back to work.